What's up everyone and welcome back to Stick War 3. The game just got a pretty massive update. A lot of things that are coming to the game as announced by Crazy J. I'm not going to go over a lot of that. Like there's this campaign update, progression and skins, day and night cycles, quests. I'm not even going to talk about that. I am going to talk about the balance changes that have now been put into the game. So to start things off, they adjusted the capture tower bonus levels. Your first level where you take initial control, you get your bonus 15% go with the random drop off with no additional bonuses. The second level, which kicks in after 60 seconds, will give you a 20% golden random drop off. Then it says 10% cooldown. I don't know what that applies to. Could be spell cooldown, unit ability cooldown, training time cooldown, who knows. Then the third level kicks in after 120 seconds, so two minutes. You get your bonus 30% gold and random drop off and a 20% cooldown of whatever. Then your fourth level kicks in after 180 seconds, so three minutes. You get your 40% gold and random drop off, 40% cooldown again of whatever. Now this is this next one is weird. We get population increases on almost all units in the game and a total pop count increase to 100, with 2v2's pop limit being increased to 75. So I'm gonna go down this list here, there's a lot. So Enslaved Miners and Regular Miners got a pop increase in two to three. Crawlers, Melee Deads, and Bombers remain at one pop. Sickles go from one to two. Swords, two to three. Archers, two to three. Spears, three to five. Jugs, four to six. Rip Riders 5 to 7, Toxic Dead 3 to 5, Wings 3 to 5, Ninjas 3 to 5, Enslaved Giants and Chaos Giants 7 to 10, Merrick 3 to 5, Magi Kill 5 to 7, and all the Generals 6 to 9. So this is like inflation, but in the form of Stick World population. It is really weird. Going through the list here. It does apply here, we got three pop swords, three pop arches, which I just don't see myself getting used to, six pop jugs, five pop spears. So, uh, if it wasn't obvious already, this does not compare to SE in the slightest. Like, not even close. But yeah, there goes that. Then we have a nerf on Zephos. Heroic leap damage got reduced from 50 to 25. And the stun time got increased, however, from two to three, I'm guessing three seconds stun time. So, I mean, it's possible for units to survive his heroic leap now. They don't get immediately eviscerated. Next up, we have electric spark splash damage ratio increased from 50 to 60%. I haven't used electric type stuff in this game in a while, so I don't know how strong that is. Vault of Prudence got its starting gold bonus removed, and the crazy thing is, it's still a mythic. So I think that just makes Vault even more worthless because it's going to be, it's not going to be useful until you go over that 2,000 gold starting requirement, and it decreases the moment you go below 2,000 gold, so that's just freaking weird. Then we have the Castle Archer Militia and Castle Archer upgrade now share the same stats. They both do 15 damage plus 10 to heavy. So that's cool, I guess. And then the Castle Archer Toxic Dead now does 10 damage plus 10 to heavy. That apply to the regular Toxic Dead? No, it does not. Honestly, that buff could have gone to the regular Toxic Dead too because this thing is still trash against light units. It's pathetic. And the Spiro's got a deep freeze nerf, which everybody was wanting. Then the Castle Archer population requirements got adjusted level one requires three pop level two requires 12 pop level three requires 21 pop so yeah there's that and then jug charge only triggers the ability to win in attack mode which is good because you used to be able to just bait jugs to charge out even in defense mode and they would die so yeah that covers all of the balance changes here all right so i mean there really isn't a whole lot for me that's new to test here, so I guess I'm gonna test this voltaic, this voltaic electric buff or whatever. So let's give that a shot. 
This has to be clickbait. No way I'm facing the actual Crazy J. This just has to be an imposter. Spoiler alert, this isn't the real Crazy J. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that. So yeah, let's get this going here. Now, uh, I'm bringing Archies because Archies, I mainly use him as a, is this the real Crazy J? There's no way for me to tell. Anybody can impersonate anybody. But anyway, I'm bringing Archies mainly to defend my backline units against backline targeters. Even when Zephos getting a heroic leap nerf, I'm pretty sure he can still be deadly. Not to mention Atreos and Spiros. So uh, yeah, that's why, that's the main reason why I bring Archies for the defensive side of things. But yeah, let's go ahead and engage. So here we go, we got the tower capture and it shows us with the 15% bonus. That is a weird ass looking spirit in here. I'm guessing those are new skins added? Hey guys, quick interjection. So after I had the video like fully edited, uploaded to YouTube, ready to make it public, I found out that the skins that my opponent used are not even supposed to be released yet. It's unreleased content. And I talked to some people and they said it would be considered a leak if I posted the video. Therefore, I wouldn't be able to post it and that upset me. However, after talking to one of the developers, I was told that for now, it's fine to post the video unless they go back on their decision and decide that this is not a good thing to have public. And I may be asked to take the video down. So to prevent complications and to keep things peaceful, if I'm asked to take this video down, I will do that. But let's hope that I don't have to do that. So yeah, I just wanted to make that clear. All right, so what we're gonna have to do, since it now requires three population to get the castle archer, we need to rush out a Spiritan quickly. What the hell is that reach? All right, uh, let me garrison this and this. We gotta get a castle archer out. Oh, that's Pike, that's why. It's starting to lag. Wow, it's starting to lag. Holy crap. Okay, I would love if that never happened again. I cannot believe that was a... That had to be the most disgusting lag I have ever experienced in my entire... It's happening again. What is going on? That was ridiculous. I had no control over that. Okay, so yeah, again, I hope I hope that never happens again. That was stupid annoying. Here's another Spiritan. I don't know if this is an attempt at a Spiritan rush or what. But you know, I'm happy to just kite and then get Archie out. This will stop the uh, this will stop the backline rush at my archers here. I don't think it's going to accomplish much. Alright, let's throw this down again. Oh, I don't have enough the crystal, damn it. All right, there we go. We took out another Spiritan. All right, let's see how you like getting your Rico rushed. Yeah, we go. There's that mass garrison. We don't get any minor kills, unfortunately. Oh, you, do you really think you're gonna pull this off? Don't think so. Come on, let me get that minor kill. There we go. Mission accomplished. Oh, that's a Treos. I am glad I built Archies.
There we go, we get rid of him. And I don't really care about that single spear tin. I should be able to just get in front of my archers and stop this. All right, we need to just sit here, throw down a healing ward, get more minus, our economy is not good. Getting distracted by these spirit and rushes. One thing I will say that is bad about, wait, hold on. Oh my God, Spiros now? You gotta be kidding me. And I told my archers to garrison, they didn't listen. I turn my back for two seconds. I turn my back for two seconds, and there goes my entire archer count eviscerated. Ain't that just freaking grand? Oh, <sighs> great. All right, whatever. We have Archie's back, I guess. That was super aggravating, though. I literally go back to base because I couldn't remember if Archie's garrisoned or not. And then Spiros is in my freaking base just killing shit. Just aggravating. All right, I'm just going to tether Spiros. No, we'll just miss completely. Well, I guess I can relish in one fact that he doesn't have tower spawn. In fact, there's nobody even here, so I'll just take it. I have the first tier tower spawn research, so this should spawn at least. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We got a bail. We got a freaking bail. Oh, great. He has both of the spirit and generals back. That's fantastic. And a big archer count. Yeah. I'm just going to back my archers up even further here. I got to keep them away from that crap. This should do a lot of splash damage at least. Yeah, so you know how I said Archies is good against generals that, you know, decide to single target your backline units? It's still true. He is good against that. But against two spiritual generals? Don't know about that. This is just ridiculous. Can't do anything against Atreus and Spiros at the same freaking time. Like, if my Archies don't get targeted by them, then it's my spiritus that get targeted by them and get destroyed by... The combination of stand in and deep freeze like it's there is just no contest and yeah there we go he gets the second i believe that's the second level bonus tower spawn whatever the hell so all i can do is sit here and try and build rebuild the spiritual army that's gonna get destroyed anyway so that's just fantastic i don't see what else i can possibly do here like Splitting spears? How would that even work? Yep, there's the stand-in. All I can do is throw these down and hope for the best. And there's a trails right there. If I'm being honest, I don't even know if this Voltaic Spark is has done any good here. Doesn't seem like it. It really doesn't seem like the Voltaic buff was did anything. 
I'd have to look back on the replay, but yeah. There you go, that's what happens when you face the two stupid spirit in generals. Woohoo! Ain't life grand.